Today I present to you this 18th century etching of ancient Rome by Italian artist Giovanni Battista Piranesi. Piranesi was famous for his depictions of classical Rome as a shining example of the neoclassic period. Neoclassicism lasted for approximately 100 years, beginning around 1750. It was a time during which artists took an interest in the ancient world, most specifically Greece and Rome. Artists turned their attention away from the vanity and opulence of the Rococo period and highlighted virtues in classical thought through depictions of ancient mythology, history, and culture. After studying in Venice, Piranesi moved to Rome where he explored his love for architectural fantasies and vestiges of ancient times. Piranesi rendered detailed images of the ruins, such as aqueduct systems, temples, and other structures, from the Roman Empire. His prints presented classical elements in a romanticized manner, meaning that his compositions were not always authentic depictions. The large edifice that fills the majority of this image is a view of the Aqua Claudia and Año Nuovo, two aqueducts built by the year 52 CE. This massive structure is authentic and still stands, and is commonly referred to as the Porta Maggiore. The modern structures depicted, which seem out of character, existed in the 18th century, as they were also depicted in a circa 1823 etching by Luigi Rossini. Piranesi's success as both an artist and an antiquarian was made possible by the rising popularity of the Grand Tours. During this time, many wealthy American and European patrons traveled throughout Europe and collected mementos of their educational and enlightening experiences abroad. 